Hi guys, Quasar here. Find the man here. And it's Monday and it's tired. Very tired. I'm stressed. So we went to Ultracon. Yesterday. What's a load of pants? I don't think it was pants, it was just that it was badly organised, I think. I'm not just talking about the people that, like, they let in, though. They let way too many people in for the amount of space that they had. And so went it something like 3,000 capacity and they let in 4,000? No, it was more like 2,000 capacity and they let in 4,000. Yeah, because um, people trying to get out and get out. Of there. No, people trying to get in and get in either. They just kept letting people in, and it was a case of, oh, everywhere you move, you're going to get hit in the face. Yeah, quite literally. I mean, there was one point, I think they only had opened like half an hour, and they just forced everybody into the main hall. Yep. It wasn't even half an hour, it was more than 15 minutes. Yeah. There's all like organizers saying, just go, go, go in there, go in there, like, Forcing everybody in. And it, it was full to start with, so good job came out of the hall when we did. Well, I started having a panic attack. Yeah. Well, I need to go outside, I thought. It's five, ten minutes. Yeah, which I thought was a problem. If yeah. something had happened, you couldn't have got out. Mm. So, I don't know. I mean, the things that were there weren't. That good, to be honest. It was already, but it was a bit pricey for what you saw. Yeah, and when you got in, you had to pay. It was ridiculous. Well, so like we're like three eighty for two bottles of pop. Well, no, that is different. Well, you start to pay. Yeah, but that is to be expected. I was on about taking pictures. Exactly. Yeah. How much was it for Optimus Prime? Five. So you're paying eight quid, and then you're paying two quid, five quid, three quid for photographs with stuff. It yeah. Should, which should be free. It should be. I mean, I get it's for charity and everything, but at the same time, there is better ways to raise money for charity than saying, uh, no, you have to pay for I mean, how many people are stupid enough to pay it? I mean, if you stood a bit further back and with cameras nowadays, you can zoom in and get a quality photograph without even paying. We got... So, it's like... We know, got ish photos because for some strange reason, they thought, oh, let's add smoke effects to that everything. Was, that was like one real downer of that. It was just everything out of smoke. So, effects. the light was bouncing off the in smoke. And causing it to be misty. I mean, I thought that parade was a bit of a. I don't know who that was. Don't you? It was weird how the stormtroopers went outside right at the back, walked all the way down the path, and then went in the main entrance. If that was the parade, then. I was expecting something on the lines of Disney sort of parade. You're never going to get that in here. No, I mean, like, all the, like... Yeah, you're never going to get... There. You're never going to get that in. Not just, not just, like, 12 guys just walking along the path and walking back inside again. I don't know. It was a bit weird. But they needed more... I think they needed more stuff outside, to be honest. Yeah, rather than, you know, there were just Fast and Furious cars outside, weren't they? And police oh, cars. Which the, po- which, which the police car is actually police the gate, to an extent, didn't they? Well, they stopped some people coming in. It's like, no, the car park is full. Turn around. I don't know. It was a bit bizarre. It was a... Like a weird day, wasn't it? 
I mean, we got there like 45 minutes before it opened. And there was a massive And there was queue. a queue then. And there was a queue pretty much the whole day. There's a queue even to get out. Yeah, there was. So if you went in the car to Old Japan yesterday, you were fucked. Well, we ended up walking all the way backwards towards the... Roundabout, was it? No, it was past the roundabout. Yeah, way past the roundabout. They were like on the industrial side of where it was. Yeah. And they um, were still queuing then. Flagged. My dad. His dad then. My dad, stop, <laughs> were you? Not at my phone. But at least the staff allowed you to use their phone. Yeah, honestly, so. that, that guy was very kind. So thank you. But, I don't know, overall, I weren't impressed. I wasn't, because they, uh, they hyped it up and then it was like, really? Large collection of bad cars or bad vehicles. And there was like four. Yeah. It said the UK's largest collection of... That's a will. Bat vehicles. It's like there was four things. There was a bat boat, a bat car, another bat, bat car. And there was a bat bike. Two, there were two bat bikes. Yeah, so it's a giant. But I thought that other one was from like something different. It wasn't Terminator. Well, that's what everyone was saying. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Because yeah. Batman's standing next to it. Um, no, yeah. if you think about it, Andrew, other people were stood next to it for a short time as well. It's like the guys from Ghost were stood next to it at some point. You can't really say, oh, look, there's a bat car there, and then there was people dressed in Call of Duty gear stood next to it. No, I've, I've seen the film, so it's a fucking bat car. Well, I haven't. I don't know. I mean, I can see what they were trying to do. I just don't think that they executed it right. No. I think... More staff. So I never saw any staff. No, I did. The front door. Yeah, that was it. That's the only staff mm. I saw. <laughs> it was the guys in the hero t-shirts. That staff. Basically. But I never saw any, like, in the hero cave or... I saw one or two. That's what I mean. They needed more staff, really, to... I mean... I can't fault the guys in the costumes. No, no, I can't. Because that's pretty much all I really go down for. I mean, to see what ones. sort of sort of like that is. So that Warhammer guy was amazing. The big spaceman. Yeah. That's Warhammer. Not space no. marine. Just not a space marine. <laughs> like dwarfed everybody. He did. Bye bye. <laughs> then again, Thor did as well. Because he was really tall. He did look like Chris, though. Chris Haynes. Plays mm. Thor. I mean, I tried to get quite a few pictures of A, the vehicles which weren't happening, a, B, the people in the costumes which weren't happening. Well, that's it. There were too many people there, and you couldn't get a decent enough photograph because there was one really in front of the cameras. And it was annoying. Um. That's why I, I kept saying to you, oh, let's go to this part mm. where there was a door. Door. I just kept stopping people. Um, no, I, I took the philosophy of, of everybody else, basically, and said, because they turned around and, and was, like, walking in front of everybody, so you know what? I just t tried to take a picture from far away. Didn't quite work, so I moved closer and then was like, you know what? You, you fucking walk in front of me now. But some people actually understood and like just stopped. Um, mumble, you know. Occasionally, some people did actually just like stop and let you take a picture because they felt like their kids were looking in front of you as well. Oh, yeah. Which I'm not bothered about the kids because the kids are small. It's you. <laughs> it's the p. It's the actual adults. That woman who uh, like a dress like a pair of curtains, for instance. 
Don't walk in front of the road when there's an FBI van coming down the road or a SWAT van, whatever it were. You've ruined a perfectly good picture. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it happens. But it were fun. <laughs> I mean, we. Clicking through the pictures last night, though. She's in the we way. haven't really been to many of these. Um, for the most part, it's not too bad. But this one was really badly organized. Because so, Doncaster was really good. Yeah, that's a, that the, was Hammer Con. The two, the two of the ones that we went to in Doncaster were both the same different years. They were really Manchester, good. Manchester, wasn't it? Manchester was all right. Hammer it was again. really packed. But it, it seems to be well over. No, Doncaster no, Don used Cast to be Geeks Unleashed. Oh, so it keeps on leaves, then it was And then it, then it changed to Doncaster Comic. Um, I didn't realise that this is the one that used to be Nightcon. Um, was it? Yeah. I wonder it, why that guy at the shop said, Oh, you're going to Nightcon? No, it's Ultra. <laughs> yeah, it used to be called Nightcon. Um... I mean, we've only really been to Doncaster. I think I've been three times to Doncaster. No. I've been I, I once. I'm sure you've been twice. What? To Doncaster, you have. Because I think the first, um, time I went with you, the first time, it was um, Darren came, didn't it? Yeah. I think that's the only time I've been No, I'm sure you've been again. I'm sure you've been twice to Doncaster. Because I'm sure I've been three times. I've only been once with Sarah. I think you've been twice. We haven't been twice to Donny. So I know I've only been once. The only other time I've been it to It might Doncaster. have been to a different thing. Hmm. So I've been to Doncaster before, but it was completely different. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> it might have been two different events there, then. Yeah. That me and you have been to. But I'm sure it was hmm. similar. Might have been. I'm sure it was like one was like Geeks Unleashed and the other was Don Castor Come Yeah. Well, they're the same thing, so you can No, 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 no. You went with Sarah to the Geeks Unleashed. It was Geeks Unleashed when we went. And then it changed to Don Castor Come Did we go twice in one year? Yes. Oh. Oh. Um. So yeah, it was a pretty packed day then yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, would you go again? If it was better organised. I wouldn't pay the prices. No. The only way that I'd, I'd go again, to be honest, is A, if it was reduced in price, because eight quid for what you get in there. It were only in two rooms. One of the rooms were practically empty. The hero cave. And then everything else was smashed into one other room. Basically. And every single stall sold the same things. So I Just was like... Just and crap, really, weren't it? Yeah. The only decent stall I saw were like airbrushed like mm. paintings. And then drawings. Yeah. There was only one stand of that though. Everything else was just Star Wars figurines. Yeah, like well, there's always going to be Star Wars figurines. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, a bit ridiculous when it's just like all the stores that are there are selling the same no, crap. Though. We have been twice to Doncaster. Okay. No, been twice. no, I am. No, I'm, I'm just saying. We have because the first time we went, we didn't buy all. We just took loads of pictures. Second time we went, we bought stuff. We bought posters. So. No, in Manchester. No. It was Doncaster. Because we got that little alien stamp. So. First time we went. I don't know. <sighs> So yeah, that's, is that it, or, because, 
Yeah. I, I just felt like, you know, they were seeing, like, the bike race were... Because there was another event there as well, yeah. wasn't there? there was a bike race on, and everybody was saying, oh, the bike, bike race, race is fucking this up. And it's it was like, no, no a bike does not take up because that much room. Traffic, and for a start, it? it was going up the hill. Yeah. Most of them were going up the hill. So, I'm sorry, but you can't say it was the bike race that fucked everything up, because it wasn't. A bike race does not cause a traffic jam that bad. It was the traffic lights at the end of the... The roundabout, where they were doing work. And it were intermittent when so it were already being red, green, and pink. Yeah, so they got the cops involved, which were stuck in the, the queue. Traffic ground. <laughs> yes, well... Which was hilarious. Because we walked past them twice. Yeah, because they were like, we're next to us and stopping. We're next to us and stopping. But, I don't know. I mean... Yeah. I don't think I'll be going I'll go to that one next time, I don't think. I'd rather go to the Doncaster. Yeah. I don't what the Comic Con. Mm. Yeah. The Comic Con seemed more organised. Not only that, it's not jam packed usually. I know. It's usually like it probably is jam packed, but it doesn't seem it. No, I mean, I'm not on about, like, it's not jam-packed. I'm on about there's reasonable amount of stuff in both rooms. Oh, yeah. Not just, like, one or two things in one room and then shit tons in the other. Yeah. Because they have the guests and the, some of some stores. I found that really In one that. room. And then they usually have, like, the cars outside in the car park. And then they usually have, like, other different things in the other room because sometimes you don't know i think the first time we went we had to pay on the door like to get in the the first door the second time we went we had to pay in to get to where the guests were so we walked around the whole first hall and the outside without paying i think that was one of the other things. Because I know that when we went, me and you went Terminator. Yeah. Or Terminator was there when we went. My first one. We went down Danny Dunn Court. Because I think that's the third time we No, the second time we went. I mean, second is in. The second time I. It was the third time we went. We didn't really have any that we were interested in. Because at Manchester, they had um, Chris Barry. Yeah, because Sarah, like. Yeah. There was Chris Barry and Robert Llewellyn and female Holly. And female Crichton. They're pretty much nearly all of the cast of the door. God damn, great child. So, sum it up. So, we're not really bothered about Night Club, but we'll trip on and let this go next time. So, no, not going to it. Doncaster will go to possibly Manchester maybe. Not we can't go to Manchester next year. Well no obviously. But but yeah. It depends on funds really as well. Doncaster you see the reason that we like that we, we do Doncaster again is purely and simply we could just get on the train. It takes twenty minutes. <laughs> Yeah, which we can. Yeah, two minutes on the train. Okay. So, bye for now. Bye.